Okay. Um, then we have uh, uh, the titles of the essays. Uh, the first one, it's actually on um, women leadership, achieving an eco future in a COVID-19 uh, world. Mm -hmm. That's uh, for secondary uh, school pupils. Mm -hmm. And delivering a common future, connecting, innovating, transforma uh, transforming uh, for university students. Yes. Obviously, um, uh, for the secondary school pupils, this theme is for the women's mm -hmm. uh, day celebrations. Yes, on 8th March, because Commonwealth Day is falling on the same day as... Uh, the Women's Day this year. And then the second theme for university students is also the theme for the 2021 Commonwealth Day celebrations. Uh, which is um, uh, uh, delivering a common future, connecting, innovating, transforming. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so the dates, um, obviously they are here, but it's important that uh, you give us. Yeah, so the, the, the dates actually start Day, that's when we open this the 19th of February, February 2021. Mm. Yes, and this is the first media appearance we are doing. So, if uh, there is any university student out there listening to this, this is your time. The essay competition starts now and it will close on Saturday, the 27th of February, which is uh, next week, Saturday. So, people have to send in their essays between now and uh, the 27th of February. Yeah, more information will be shared on our Facebook page. If we leave this platform, and then you can get more information on the NOCZ Facebook page, on Facebook and other social media platforms. Um, you've mentioned of social media. Before we talk about the awards, you you didn't touch on that one. Let me try to bring in Chishimba as well. Um, Chishimba, he's mentioning of how uh, people can get in touch with you on social media. But obviously, there are those uh, that normally have difficulties with the spellings and the like and uh, they may have difficulties in finding you how can they uh, participate how can they get in touch to find more details on how they can participate okay so uh maybe yeah uh, that comes on the part of uh, uh questions that people may have and uh well the first thing i can give out is uh, our email address uh, for now i uh, hope uh, Paul can uh, jot this one down so uh, if you have any questions or where you make your essay submissions, uh, the essay submission will be made to uh, the email address admin at nocz.org. Okay, so I'll just go through that one again. So the essay submission will be on the email address admin at nocz.org. That's uh, in small caps, everything in small caps. Yes, and uh, of course, uh, if you, in case you have any questions or queries, uh, if you can't reach us via email, you can also alternatively uh, contact us on the number 0974-021232. So I'll go through that one again. In case you have any questions, uh, you can reach us on the number 0974-021232. Three, two. Or alternatively, you can still write to us via any of our social uh, media apps. You can text us on our Facebook page where we'll be able to uh, respond. You can also write to us via the, the Twitter page, which is uh, Team Zambia brackets NOCZ, or rather NOCZ Team Zambia brackets. Yeah. So you'll be able to find us on Twitter. It's the same uh, on Facebook as well. So these are the uh, the contacts for now. Okay. So how will uh, uh, the winners be uh, notified? Okay, so, uh, okay, I think I'll allow Felix to respond. <laughs> All right, so, um, yeah, once we receive your, your essay, we receive the confirmation that uh, you've submitted your essay, you'll be contacted via phone call or an email will be sent to the email address that I sent the essay to say, you, we've conf we've co we can confirm uh, receiving your essay and then follow-up steps will come. So for the people that are not, not contacted for the second confirmation, then they've not made it to the second round of the you know, scrutinization of the essays. So for the first one, they'll receive an acknowledgement uh, email to say we've received and a phone call follow up to confirm that uh, they, we've received uh, their email, their essay via our email address. And then um, uh, obviously uh, some of us that have been in grade 12 before, mm -hmm. there is the, uh, the number of words, the maximum number of words uh, which need to be in that essay. Like uh, for these ones, is it open? You can write as much as many words as you want, Chishimba. Uh, for on that one, we will we'll be able to uh, provide uh, more information. Yes, we haven't talked about uh, 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 the number of words uh, for now, but um, 
just to touch on uh, a little bit, we have uh, a little bit of uh, something somewhere. So uh, we we do have a minimum number of words that uh, we expect, and that's uh, uh, 600 words. Uh, 600 words, a minimum of 600 words, and a maximum of uh, 1,000 words. Yeah, so it has to be between uh, those uh, backgrounds. Be, uh, a minimum of 600 words and a maximum of uh, 1,000. Uh, but of course, uh, there's... Obviously, uh, the grade 12 who understand this better. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's, uh, it's basic information. It's basic information. Uh, 600 to 1,000. Mm -hmm. Normally, we go beyond that. Even when, when we are told to write 250 words, mm -hmm. when you make your own calculations, you go up to 1,000. So if they tell you to write 1,000 words, obviously, to go to... Uh, more than 2,000, which will be a disqualification on its own. So now, uh, uh, what should uh, the uh, submissions indicate? Okay, so um, uh, the submissions, of course, are at the end there should uh, have uh, the name of uh, the person who's, uh, who's written the essay, uh, uh, their sex meaning male or female, uh, their age, uh, the school where they are coming from, or is it um, a learning institution, the town, phone number, email address, and a passport size photo. Yeah, so these are the key things that uh, one that one should have. And the essay should also have a, a title. Yeah, the essay should also have a title and uh, also the number of words. And uh, uh, the maximum number of essay submission allowed is one. So a person can only uh, submit uh, one in this case and uh, the submission should be uh, done in PDF document. Yeah, so it should be in PDF form. Yeah, so these are so there are those who like submitting in docs. Unfortunately, <laughs> some phones don't open docs for me. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right, so the essay should be submitted in the PDF uh, format. Um, obviously, um, uh, 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 touched on this one earlier, but um, it was not very clear. Mm -hmm. So, I want you to clarify uh, on uh, point number six mm -hmm. uh, submission. Okay, okay, so um. Of course, uh, it has to be typed. First things first. That, that's uh, so the essay has to be typed. Yes, it has to be typed. Yes, because you'll be sending it to us via email, so yeah, it will have to be in typed format, and it will be an online submission via our email address, which I gave out earlier. Yes, so uh, that's uh, the key thing. Uh, no need for a, a handwritten submission. Uh, it has to be typed and yeah, online. Okay, let's get to the words, Munika. Uh, or rather to the awards now. Yes. We have um, the students and the pupils awards. Yeah, so uh, before I get to the prizes, the winners will be notified by phone call or email address. Mm. And then the shortlist will also be posted on our social media platform so that people can see. And then for the first category, which is uh, the invest, uh, the secondary school pupils category, we have a cash prize of 500 kwacha for the essay for the first prize and also an award certificate which will be signed by our National Olympic Committee of Zambia President and Secretary General and also uh, the British High Commissioner to Zambia because these are partners that we've worked with in terms of a Commonwealth Day commemoration in the country. So the award will be signed by these people and then they also receive a free NOCZ or CGA Zambia t-shirt on top of uh, these two other awards. Do you have the t-shirts so that I can... Uh, no, we will we'll facilitate for you. <laughs> we need to facilitate something for you, yeah. Mm. And then the other thing is that the essay will also be published on our NOCZ website. That's www.nocz.org. The essays will be published. The top two, I think the top two will yes. be published so that even the outside world can also see to say this is the essay that has won the first prize. So they can agree with us to say, okay, this is the essay that has won the first prize. Yes, and then moving on, second prize, we have a cash prize of uh, 350 kwacha. And then they also receive a certificate t-shirt and the essay will be published on our website. For the third prize for secondary school pupils, we have uh, 200 kwacha cash prize, an award certificate and a t-shirt. The third essay will just, we will we'll go through it, but it won't be published on our website. But yeah, it will win the third prize. And then moving on to the uh, the big one, University of Serbia students. Uh, the first prize is a cash prize of uh, 1,000 kwacha for the essay. Invest students, not just invest of Zambia. So I need to clarify that also. After this, I need to talk about how other universities can also come through. Mm. Yeah. So the second prize for this category is a 750 kwacha 
our certificate t-shirt and publication of the essay on our website the third prize is the cash prize of 500 kwacha our certificate and the t-shirt okay um there is um, um, uh, uh, a specification here mm -hmm. it's the university of zambia and it's good that you also touched on how uh, other universities can take part yes because i made a mistake you know just once it's almost it's like it rings every day in my mind when you just hear the because you university. are from here yes yes so through the zambia university sports association that's azusa we also will be able to contact other universities like mulungoshi university uh, uh Belt University, also uh, the, uh, the University of Lusaka and the Cavendish University. These are our top five that we are targeting, but uh, it's open to any university student. But these five universities I've mentioned will be contacted through the Zambia University Sports Association because it's a sports association that's affiliated to the NOCZ and they will be able to uh, pass on the message to these universities. Yes. Uh, thank you. As we conclude, uh, uh, Chishimba, your concluding remarks. Well, I, I think for me it's, uh, it's just uh, trying to uh, raise awareness that this is an open opportunity uh, for both uh, students and pupils. It's a way to, uh, to, to see your creativity. Yes. If you've seen the, the two themes, uh, women in leadership, achieving equal future in a COVID-19 world, we are affected by COVID-19. But how can we ensure that... Uh, we have inclusiveness in terms of leadership, women, uh, where women can also come in. So people have to think around these issues. Uh, these, of course, are issues that are there, that they are well vested in uh, via their subjects in school. Uh, when it comes to, uh, to students as well, delivering a common future, connecting, connecting, innovating, uh, and transforming. Uh, this one also. If you look at it, it's the same thing that theme that we had even last year. It has continued even this year. So meaning we are in a world where we, ha we, have, we must have a common future as uh, the common world. We have to connect, we have to innovate and uh, transform. So as, a, as someone who's in tertiary education, someone who's going into the, into the, industry. Into the industry, you have to think around these issues. How can we be innovative? How can we ensure that we continue uh, with uh, the common goal of uh, development. So if they are very open topics and uh, one can easily uh, think around them. I know uh, Chishimba is very humble. It doesn't talk too much. Let me uh, uh, give uh, uh, this chance to Felix Munika, the most talkative, to conclude <laughs> yeah, so as well. I think uh, thanks uh, Godwin for the opportunity. And uh, before I say many thanks, I would like to also say that uh, we are also preparing for the Birmingham 2022 Commonwealth Games that will be there next year mm. and uh, we have a team that will participate at that games but uh, before we do that there are other programs that uh, we run as we prepare for such games. One of the programs is uh, the Queen's Baton really. It's, it's when the Queen's Baton, you know, journeys around Commonwealth nations and later this year the Queen's Baton will be in Zambia to celebrate uh, the Commonwealth movement in Zambia. So. We will have time to talk about that, but uh, just to conclude uh, what we came here for, I encourage people to uh, take part in this competition because it's an open competition, like Chimba said. And if you're interested in writing, you have an understanding uh, in terms of sport, I think this is for you. And then for me, I feel this money is worth it. You can put in some work, do a bit of research, and you can take part in the competition. Yeah. And then I would also like uh, to thank you, Godwin, for sparing some time to accommodate us on this program. Zaka Asta is one of uh, the biggest programs in the country and having uh, an opportunity to be here is a privilege and we appreciate uh, the opportunity. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Um, Wankumbu is in Lusaka for a two-day meeting and he's saying he's happy to hear his colleagues on radio. Right, same. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We go for a short break, then we continue on the other side.